Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about codes, uh, stored codes, pending codes, and most importantly, what is a permanent code and can you delete it? Well, there is, like I just said, those three types of codes and the first two, a pending code and a stored code, yes, they can be del uh, erased with um, a scan tool or... Uh, disconnecting the negative battery terminal, but permanent codes can't. And what makes a permanent code a permanent code versus a pending and a stored code? Well, a stored code, um, if you clear it, then the monitors on the car have to reset. The computer has to check the EVAP system. It has to check um, the uh, O2 system. It has to check anything that has to do with emissions, Okay. And that sometimes that can take a couple of days to drive the car around. So if you're trying to pass inspection and you have a check engine light on, deleting it, uh, the, you know, deleting the codes is not going to do anything. All right, because the car st will still fail because the monitors are not ready. Certain states allow only one monitor to be ready. Certain certain states allow none. Certain states allow two. And it depends on the model year of the ve vehicle as well. Okay, so let's get back to the permanent code. A permanent code, let's say you have an O2 code, O2 sensor code, and it's not fixed, and you keep clearing it or you just don't fix it. The computer is going to keep it in, first it's going to be pending, then it's going to be stored. That's going to put your check engine light on it. Okay, and then uh, it's going to be a permanent code. Now, the... the, the um, the time it takes to become a store code and a permanent code, again, relies on the vehicle. Depends on the vehicle, you yeah, make and model. But um, you have to fix the permanent code, stored code first. Now, let's say if it's an O2 code, right? You have to, let's say if the O2 sensor was bad. You replace the O2 sensor, okay? You delete the code, okay, from the stored memory. And you start the car. And now... In the pending status, there's no O2 sensor code. In the stored status, there's no O2 code. But in the permanent, there's still an O2 code. That's okay. The check engine light is going to be off because the problem is fixed. So now you think, okay, let me just get a scan tool and delete that permanent code. You can't. That is into the um, computer. The computer itself has to run its checks and go, okay, O2 sensor, let's check it. Okay, it's good. Okay, let's make sure that it does it maybe one cycle or two cycles whenever it checks it. And it can, it can matter on a whole bunch of different criteria of each individual make of when the code is going to, the computer is going to decide to clear that code. Okay, so let's say after two cycles, it clears it. It's going to be cleared from the memory of the permanent memory. So, but that doesn't mean, now let's say if that code wasn't fixed, that permanent code is still going to be there. And, it, and if there are a couple of cycles, it may come from permanent to stored. And stored is going to throw the light on. All right, I don't want to show you on a high-end scan tool because you may not have that feature. Let me just try this again. And diagnostic. Now watch, it's going to show you codes. Erase data, you hit no. All right, now. You see it says codes found two. Okay? And then status, the light is off. Those two codes are permanent codes. They were old codes. Actually, one of them was for a catalytic converter efficiency. And the other one was an O2 that I both I fixed both of them. Now the car hasn't been driven yet. I just repair just repaired this, and it's going to take a while for those two codes to disappear. But as long as all the monitors are ready, this car is started up, has no check engine light. As long as in this state, uh, you're allowed one monitor not to be ready. It's usually the EVAP. It takes the longest. So it has a lot of different parameters. Uh, you can get the car inspected. The car is going to be fine. Even though it had those two permanent stored codes, that's fine. car was still passing inspection because of what I told you before. A pending code still, even if it's just pending yet, it's not going to throw the light on. That'll still pass inspection. A stored code, no. Stored code, 
is going to throw the light and you just have to get it fixed. A pending code, you still have to get it fixed too. But let's say you want to fix it right after you, you know, have it passed inspection. As long as that stored, that pending code don't turn to stored, you can get the car inspected. All right, so this car, as it sits right now, has no pending codes, no stored codes. It just has those permanent codes from the failures before that were fixed. And now the computer itself, after a couple of, a couple of hours, a couple of days, it all depends, the, the computers, the car's computer is going to check those codes again and then automatically delete them permanently. Okay, so hopefully that clears it up. Um, I tried to explain it as easy as possible simple as possible uh, it can be kind of confusing to people that don't really know and so just to recap you have three types of different codes you have stored code throwing the engine light on have to fix it you have to fix them anyway it doesn't matter then you have a pending code that doesn't throw the light yet but it will uh, eventually and a permanent code that will throw the light on if you don't fix it but if you fix it and it still has a permanent code, you're good to go because the computer will automatically erase them eventually. All right, guys, Motor Car Nut, please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions. I hope I help you guys out. And I see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.